unchain Wall Street. They're going to put you all back in chains. First, Trump told the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel, quote, if everything's honest, I'd gladly accept the results. If it's not, you have to fight for the right of the country. Why should we take this threat seriously? Well, because we know that uh, Trump believes this in his heart. He's got an army of MAGA, extreme far-right folks in the Congress and across the country. Similar demonstrations across the country. Arrest outside Trump Tower, New York City. A human chain across San Francisco's Golden Gate Bridge. From Phoenix to Houston to Chicago, people protesting the country's new president on his first day in office. And his, he has a derangement about hurting people, hurting democracy, sending a mob into attack a capital to overthrow our government. When I will go and take Trump out tonight. Take him out now. When was the last time an actor assassinated a president? They're still going to have to go out and put a bullet in Donald Trump. Show me where it says that protests are supposed to be polite. I want to know about all of those right-wing uh, organizations that he's connected with who are training up in the hills mm. somewhere and targeting, uh, you know, what communities they're going to attack. Have you Here, I, Capri, I, I'll start with you. I, you know, I get that members of your party are upset, they're upset they right. lost, but this, and let's take a look at what I'm talking about, this, let's see it, is an attempt at anarchy. It is an attempt at chaos. They are undermining our democratic process, everything that we stand for, which is a peaceful transition of power. Right. So we absolutely should take him from on his word. We saw that he actually executed and tried to do horrible things to people across this country. We're going to go in there, we're going to... Well, this is just a warning to you Trumpers. Be careful. Walk lightly. And for those of you who are soldiers, make them pay. Donald Trump will do any and everything that he can possibly get away with. He does not at all support the Constitution of the United States of America. This is a man who we'd better be careful about. And I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to ask the Justice Department and I'm going to ask the president to tell us what they're going to do to protect this country against violence if he loses. Burning cars and smashed windows. A small group of protesters dressed in black, their faces covered, armed with hammers and bricks. Facing off with thousands of officers on site, many in riot gear, confronting them with flashbang grenades and pepper spray. All of a sudden, the police officers started to spray pepper spray and they got our audio technician. They're coming. They're see us running because they're going to throw more flashbangs. The chaotic scene just blocks outside the secure area of the inauguration and parade route. Not only are they planning on a civil war, if they have to do that, uh, but he's spelling it out specifically how and what they're going to do and how he's going to get revenge, how he's going to attack his enemies, all of this. The people are going to turn on them, they're going to protest, they're going to uh, absolutely harass them until they decide that they're going to tell the president, no, I can't hang with you. Our issue is strong borders, no crime. Their issue is open borders. Let MS-13 all over our country. That's what's going to happen. If you listen to the fascists, they call me a fascist. I ain't no racist. I ain't no racist. I ain't no fascist. I think everyone here should have a speech. That man later walked away bloodied. Yeah, Rock hit me in the face. It was cool. This is what we came here for. Police say 21 were arrested, 11 injured, 7 taken to the hospital. They're crazy, but I was hoping that in some way we could stop them from doing what they do, but they did anyway. Things, and when he talks about race, we know, and I'm going to tell you again today, Donald Trump is a pure racist. And if you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or 
Trump and you ain't black. Unchain Wall Street. They're going to put you all back in chains.